We now go to our reporter, Laura Windsor, with information on a stem cell procedure being done at the San Diego Stem Cell Treatment Center. For patients suffering with a variety of orthopedic injuries and degenerative disorders, an innovative technique using the patient's own fat-derived adult stem cells is showing great promise. Dr. Peter Hansen, a joint replacement surgeon at the San Diego Stem Cell Treatment Center, tells us about the newest breakthroughs in this stem cell technology. We use a team of plastic surgeons that perform liposuctions on the patient. They just take out 50 cc's of fat, basically. And we have a team of technicians that then processes those cells, processes that fat down to cells. Those cells are full of regenerative cells, some of those regenerative cells being stem cells. Those stem cells have the capability of forming almost any kind of tissue within the body. So what our goal is in our treatment center is to use orthopedic surgeons to then deploy those cells where they need to be because we're experts in getting inside the knee, getting inside the hip or the shoulder, and treating arthritic conditions primarily with these regenerative cells. We have a sports medicine division run by Dr. Tal David. He's a sports medicine specialist, and what he treats is injuries in athletes. What our goal is with the stem cell treatments is to take those regenerative cells and put them into the area of injury right away so that it helps speed up the healing process and hopefully makes it better. When you injure yourself, you, your body calls cells to that area. And it's trying to call cells that have the capability of healing that injury. We're just putting those cells there uh, right away. One of my patients, Dr. Bridges, has two bad shoulders. He has arthritic shoulders and he's been told that he probably needs his shoulders replaced. He continues to practice anesthesia. He's very knowledgeable in medicine and he came to us asking if we could that we could perform a stem cell procedure on his shoulders and try to avoid having big surgery. As I put up with uh, the discomfort from my shoulders, shoulders aren't weight bearing joints so it's mainly motion or activities that you're going to do where you have the pain. That's primarily what mine was and I just I quit doing certain activities. I wouldn't go to the gym or I wouldn't go to uh, various things, sleeping at night until finally I said, there has got to be a better way. There's got to be something. And yet I really wasn't at the point of having them both replaced. That's when I approached uh, Dr. Hansen and said, after, uh, uh, colleagues or friends that had had great results with other joints but not so shoulders, I said that's where we started. Is it a possibility? Would it help me? And I'm pretty close to the point of saying uncle. And as far as pain is concerned, I understand pain. I'm an anesthesiologist and that's what we're supposed to alleviate patients from. And he said we don't have many shoulders. Uh, the preliminary results look good, promising. And I said, okay, Pete, I don't want to have total shoulders at this time. If that might work, I'm willing to try it. We now return with Dr. Peter Hansen at the San Diego Stem Cell Treatment Center, who tells us more about stem cell therapy. A big part of our practice is treating arthritis. I'm an arthritis surgeon basically. I do mostly hip and knee replacement surgery and part of the goal of their stem cell treatments is to try to put off the need for uh, joint replacement surgery or maybe get rid of the need for joint replacement surgery. I've got a lot of patients that are either too young to have surgery or have other medical conditions that don't want to have surgery or just philosophically don't want to have a big joint replacement surgery that I do on a normal basis and with the stem cell treatment now, we've been able to offer them a treatment that isn't available in most places. And we've had some very good success with treating the arthritic population and taking away their pain, basically. Our whole goal in, in arthritis surgery is to take away pain. And if we can do that with a minor procedure, where we're taking the patient's own cells, allowing them to do what they do, which is to heal the arthritic joint, maybe not make it perfect, 
but make it not hurt. In joint replacement surgery, one of our biggest problem populations is the young active population with arthritis. They have old athletic injuries, they have other reasons to have arthritis, but they're really too young and too active to have a joint replacement. The problem is that a joint replacement is a piece of metal and a piece of plastic, a piece of ceramic. It's a very high tech, but it wears out. So it's like driving a car off the lot. It loses its value as soon as you put it in because it's only going to last 10 to 15 years. And if a person's 52, 54, they know that they're looking at a second really big operation later on. So that's part of the population that we're trying to treat with this type of, with the stem cell treatments is to be able to help their cells regenerate their joint, make it painless, even if it's just for a few more years, so we can buy them some time before they become a better candidate to have a total knee replacement or a total hip replacement. It's been extremely rewarding uh, these types of procedures. Um, we've really helped a lot of people that were really, really not wanting to have their joints replaced. Um, and to be able to do something that's much less invasive and be able to help their bodies basically heal themselves, there's just a different kind of reward than there is in making somebody walk with a new total hip. I still love doing that too, don't get me wrong, but I think in some patients it's not the right thing to do and yet they really need help. We wanted to give you a quick update on Dr. Plowden Bridges' outcome after his stem cell procedure. He's doing fine and back to his regular routine and out of pain. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor. For people suffering with orthopedic injuries and pain but not wanting a large operation, stem cell therapy using the patient's own cells is being used to assist healing. Dr. Tal David of the San Diego Stem Cell Treatment Center tells us how the process works. The field of sports medicine is relatively new. If you look at the past 50 years, probably the biggest um, game changer has been the use of the arthroscope, allowing us, for example, to do surgery with minimally invasive techniques. I think the next 50 years, the game changer is gonna be biologics meaning that using cells and using our own tissues to help us heal and recover from injury. Stem cells are going to be a very important part of that biologics. A stem cell is a generic term for a cell that has the ability to become, differentiate and become something else, a different cell type. The advantages that stem cell give us are the potential ability to heal tissue that up to this point hasn't had the ability to heal. The other advantages is it allows for a faster recovery so athletes can get back to their sport faster. And the third advantage is stem cells allow us to treat a problem non-surgically, which is something that we haven't been able to do before. Every patient that is treated with stem cells needs to be evaluated by a physician. Orthopedic injuries in particular, sometimes we need an x-ray, sometimes we need an MRI, but that's where you start. After a physical examination and diagnostic testing, you can get a much better sense of whether a patient's a candidate for a stem cell treatment or not. The stem cell treatments that we're doing are primarily from our own practices. I have a partner who's an orthopedic surgeon and together we're identifying patients that we think would be appropriate. And once those patients are screened and found to be appropriate, we're then bringing them into the study which we're currently doing, which is an IRB approved study looking specifically at the stem cell treatments, who's benefiting from it, and then following them out longitudinally, prospectively. Dr. David talks about a friend of his who most recently underwent stem cell treatment with their colleagues. Corey's a, uh, an offensive lineman who plays, uh, played in the National Football League for over 10 years. He was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings and uh, has made some stops along his career. I met him when he was here in San Diego playing for the Chargers. He'd had issues that uh, involved previous surgeries and he'd had quite, quite a bit of problems, mileage on the odometer, so to speak, with his hip. He'd been through a few surgeries, had seen some specialists, and uh, his last stop was stem cell therapy. The result has been very good, very good. And, and they were very cautious. They knew my activity level. They knew what I wanted to do. They knew where I wanted to be. And they were very, very cautious. They're like, okay, Corey, we don't know we don't know what this is going to do. We, we've never done a hip. Um, we've done a lot of knees. We've done shoulders. We've done backs. We've done a lot of stuff. We haven't done a hip, so we don't know what's going to happen. Um, a weight-bearing joint, you know, you don't want to, you don't, don't overdo it. And so they basically made me promise to give them 10 days of no activity. 
but after the second day, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't, it doesn't hurt to sleep anymore. It doesn't hurt to get out of bed anymore in my hip. Um, this is amazing. And I'm uh, checking with Dr. David and they just keep, they just keep wondering, okay, are you doing okay? And what about now? You know, I feel like, what are you doing? Stop doing it. Well, how do you feel? So um, it's, uh, it's been good. Regarding the effects of stem cell therapy, I think we're just scratching the surface. We're getting to the point now where we're just starting to understand what they do, how they behave, what types of things influence the stem cell, and what influence the stem cell has on its surrounding tissues. Dr. David, how gratifying is it for you to be able to help these patients using stem cell therapy? One of the earlier patients that, uh, were, that we treated was from my practice. He was an avid runner and uh, was uh, basically struggling with a degenerative hip that was preventing him from being able to run. And this guy was doing long distance runs for most of his life. He was in his late 30s and essentially had to stop running because of his hip. So we did stem cell therapy and three months after his stem cell 